good evening everyone welcome back with me again okay so this time i'm here at the small street it will lead us to go to uh jalan katika plaza in puta so let's go and see the situation as you can see here on the right side this is new businesses in this area a uh, small cafe or uh, restaurants and also here look at this it's quite a lot of tourists enjoying their dinner here and a lot of tattoo studios I forget the name of this street but I will uh, put it on my video and here is the hotel which is to not mistaken is Batman Sari Hotel it's not really big but it's quite nice I like the location actually it is just very close to the mall which is Lipo Mall and as you can see some of the shops here have closed by this time a restaurant but a lot of them are still open which is good here also there is a small cafe it looks nice the chicken dishes from the menu so what do you think you want to come to this area maybe or do you want to stay around here to go to the beach is very close from here guys you just need to walk uh, to the opposite directions and then uh, you will arrive at the beach last time I showed you about the German beach and it's very close from here Here on the right side is the Lipo Mall. I don't know by this time it's uh, busy or not, but normally a lot of people like to have their dinner here and they will have live music also at night. Okay, we are arriving here at Jalan Kartika Plaza and let's uh, keep driving and see the situation. There is no traffic jam at the moment, which is good. And here is the Bintang Bali Resort. Last time I showed you as well from the beach side. And right there, there's a new place guys. Vietnamese Nini Waro. Look at that. There are quite a lot of tourists enjoying the dinner there. A cold beer of course. <laughs> Every restaurant here they have the cold beer. And here is Bebek Chepisawa guys. Wow, it looks quiet. I don't know, maybe later it will be busy. And here, if you go to the left, you will see some restaurants as well right there. Last time I uh, bought a burger from the restaurants there. It was nice burger and uh, you can also shop here. It's kind of like a small art market. They have nice stuff here. Okay, let's uh, continue and keep driving. Wow, I spoke too soon about uh, the traffic jam. Here we have some traffic jam, but hopefully it's not really bad. I don't know what is happening in the front there. The bus is stopping. And right there is the Fabris Hotel, guys. Look at this from here. You can see a lot of tourists having their dinner. This Fabris Hotel, I can say, is quite famous, yeah, especially for Australian. A lot of tourists from Australia that like to uh, stay here. And last time I visited this uh, hotel, I mean the room, during COVID-19, it was nice room. They have family room, they have single room, they have a nice pool, big pool, I can say. Okay, let's keep driving. Here they have Grassy Kali's pub. I don't know about inside. It looks nice. Just different styles from outside. Here is the Indian the restaurant. Anyway, you will see a lot of Indian restaurants around in this area. And here also Masala. But look at that guys not really busy or quiet by this time 
and this is the opposite side I think there's a new restaurant here it's joy kitchen but I can see from their menu they have a lot of uh, food from international um, also Indonesian food and many many more guys so there are some new businesses have opened in this area so I do really hope all the businesses around here survive and keep opening their um, restaurants or shops and look at that here it's quite busy and there is a Bali nice bar here and right there as you can see they have the sub what is that I don't even know how to pronounce that uh, restaurant then it's Indian the uh, pure vegetarian restaurant guys and there's some shots here and right there uh, you can see the BMC money changer where you can change money safely and right on the top there I think is a bar it is I don't know what is the name of the bar I think it's shipwreck Bali have you been to that bar before it looks nice from here bamboo style building and here is the Sun Island Hotel guys of course this hotel is open and they have the restaurants and the location is also good but I don't think they have access to go to the beach you need to go maybe through the mall to go to the beach closest way I mean and here is the Discovery Kapika Plaza hotel guys it's one of the biggest hotel in this area and of course they have access directly to the beach they have their villas as well and we are very close to Discovery Mall maybe next time I will walk inside the mall and show you what they have a quite long time ago I walked inside but there were a lot of uh, area were closed let's see next time but for uh, I mean this time let's see from outside only guys well they have traffic light here now so you need to be careful when you drive huh? why everyone is going here we should stop now <laughs> okay it's green and let's go let's go inside here but seems not really busy this mall at the moment they have a lot of lights on their stairs and sometimes they have live music but tonight I'm not really sure if they have it and that is the opposite side of the mall they have the warren telagas they have seafood and they have spice mantra some people ask me about the spice mantra anyway it's really big restaurant yeah? they have the first floor and the second floor I think it's a Indian restaurant okay let's keep driving and let's see a little bit more from this area and I have bamboo bar as well bamboo bar and grill is also a quite famous place where they have uh, live music you can watch uh, sports games drink your beer of course water boom here but of course by this time they are closed you can come at noon and here maybe this is your favorite restaurant it's warung dama look at this as you can see it's really busy do you know the meaning of damar anybody know the meaning of damar if you know maybe you can write down on the comment section that nice bar there anyway and based on the reviews or comments that warung damar is very popular uh, from this area here is the baba gum shrimp but it's not really busy as you can see and the 
this is their uh, restaurants also. And this is Temple restaurant. Quite busy, which is good. And soon you will see a lot more restaurants in this area, guys. Along this street, you can find like everything. Many kinds of uh, restaurants, like here on the right side. Well, look at this. Dolce Vita is always busy. It is good to see that. It's almost full, I think. Maybe you can uh, book your table before you come to make sure you have the space. Have you been to these restaurants before? And here is the opposite side. It is kind of like um, souvenir shops. Uh, right here, you can do fish spa. So you can put your feet inside that uh, fish or that pony, yeah? and then the fishes will eat your dead skin, guys. I don't know if you like it or not, but some people do it. Okay, let's continue. And here's some more restaurants, seafood. Wow, smell very nice. Wow, it makes me hungry. <laughs> And here on the left side, this is the Matilda spot bar. By this time, it's not really busy. Maybe most of the people still having their dinner because now it's around 7.30. And here you will see a lot more restaurants, guys. On the right side here the seafood house and they have Italian restaurants as well and here on the left side so many kinds of food Indonesian food, Indian food, international of course a lot of options for you this area guys and here is the stadium cafe have you been to this place? it is a nice place as well Here, if you keep going straight, you will go to uh, Jalan Pantai Kuta. But this time, I will go to the other side. That is Kuta Square. I think most of you know about this place. <laughs> but let's drive to this area, guys. This is Jalan Tegalwangi, we call it. But unfortunately, the situation is the same, it's very dark here and all the businesses around here have closed and they cannot reopen it until now here on the right side as you can see it's very dark and abandoned but here there is a small warung and then this is part of the hotel I think and it's open of course Here also, Warung 35. This local Warung and they have a rental. And then here is Zia Hotel Kuta. Are you planning to stay here at this hotel? I think it's not a really big hotel, but it's quite nice. Nothing much is happening actually along this Jalan Tegalwangi. As you can see, only uh, small businesses, warung, something like that is still open here. And some hotels of course, but not really like big hotel or resort.
Okay, everyone, that's all for today's short video from this area. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to support me by subscribing this channel. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much, and bye now.